We've got the brand new Titleist T-Series iron for 2021. Today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about each model, and Thomas is going to do some testing in this episode of The Swing Report. If you enjoy this video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want our final thoughts and all-encompassing information, skip to the final chapter of the video. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Uh, always an exciting day, Thomas, when we have new clubs to look at to and test out as well. Um, Titleist T-Series irons, uh, Titleist has been fantastic with their iron releases over the past a decade plus, kind of making sure they cover every base of, of golfer, every type of golfer. These new T-Series irons are no exception. Um, quick first glance, they look awesome. Uh, I'm very excited about them. Yeah, this is a unique time of the year because Titleist like to introduce their irons in the middle of the summertime, mm -hmm. which is a little different from other manufacturers. So luckily for us in Minnesota, we get to test these outside and see how they compare. So first glance, I'm holding the T-100 in my hands is the difference between the original chrome yeah. look and now a more of a satin look. So they kind of look a little bit more like the, the CBs than the MB mm -hmm. line and maybe a little more blade-like as well. Exactly, yeah, that, that's the big, so the, the naming uh, cadence is, is the same as the past release, T100, T200, T300, um, where your T100 is gonna be your most players type iron, down to T300 is gonna be your kind of game improvement iron. Um, but like Thomas said, the big change that I see in the T100 is going from that shiny chrome to more of a satin, um, and I think that's a lot from feedback of, of players that have been using it. But getting into some of the key information about these irons, so um, the, the stock shafts, Thomas, you got the steel stock shafts kind of in each of these irons here, the AMTs. Can you explain a little bit about what those are? Yeah, Titleist still have not gone away from the AMT. So they have the AMT red, AMT black, and AMT white. The AMT Red is with the T300 irons in with regards to this, the stock shaft. Mm -hmm. uh, the range in weight, so as AMT stands for ascending weight. So the range is from about 95 grams to about 107 grams, mm -hmm. and that would be for the S300 golf shaft. So it's a little bit lighter, especially in those longer irons. The AMT Black, that is from around about 95 grams to about 116 grams. So a little bit, little bit heavier, a little bit lower launching, lower spinning golf shaft. But you'll notice still that AMT ascending weight, yeah. essentially. So it's going to be a little bit heavier in the shorter irons, a little bit light, lighter in the long irons. Longer irons we know are a little harder to hit. Yeah. And then we also have the T100, the AMT white. That's from about 112 grams all the way up to 130 grams. So a little, little bit heavier, a little bit more lower spinning golf shaft. Kind of a little more reflective of kind of like your true S300 golf shaft. Okay. Perfect. And then we should also note there is a T100S model as well that we aren't able to have with us today, but that is a, very similar to the T100, but um, a little bit kind of stronger lofted and a little bit more distance, lower spin on that as well. So um, again, getting into this, Thomas, we got to talk about this tech. Uh, so we can kind of start with the T300s, your most game improvement iron. Um, and highlighting the T300 is Max Impact Technology, um, which kind of they originated with the original T-Series. They've improved it here. And, and then they've also added 40% more tungsten weight. So essentially just tungsten weight, really in all three of these irons, but the, a ton of it in the T300. And you can even just see it by looking at it, but that's gonna produce a ton of forgiveness. And then of course the variable face thickness on there, uh, really hot club face there. So then moving to the T200, again, some more tungsten weighting, both the heel and the toe. Um, and then it's gonna be that kind of hollow player's distance category club, right? So that's gonna be best for those golfers that want that distance, but also want some workability. And they're also releasing these as kind of a utility iron as well. So if you're somebody that likes that, maybe a thinner utility iron available in the two or three, you can get the T200. T100 then, as you said, um, going back to that satin look a little bit, but the most players type, um, already very popular on tour, that split cavity design, uh, great, great irons, really all across the board here. Yeah, and then going back to specs, I always like to look at the lofts on the irons. Mm -hmm. The one thing I did notice with the T200 is the loft is actually a little weaker. Yeah. That's probably the first time I've seen an iron come out that's a little bit weaker in the last few years. So that's kind of exciting, but I think that comes back to the, the fact that now we have those utility irons in the T200 and the two and the three. Yeah. And then from the four iron through the mid irons, the loft is just one degree weaker but then the wedge loft is still the same with the T200s. Mm -hmm. So instead of it being 30 degrees with the seven iron T200, 
is now going to be 31 degrees. Absolutely, and that is really a cool opportunity for a blend there of T100S and T200 there for golfers that I think will be very popular in fittings. Um, in addition to the stock shafts that you mentioned as well, of course, if you get fit at second swing, there's a bunch more options to uh, choose from, and then, of course, our fitters will help you out and decide which of those available shafts is best for your game here. But, Thomas, we're out on the driving range. Um, we've got golf balls here. We've got track men with us. Let's do some testing, huh? I'm excited. All right, so Thomas, you have the T200 in your hand. You're going to kind of start in the middle, as you said. Um, looking at that one, what do you see? I, I mean, this is from my angle. It looks like it's kind of compact, actually. Yeah, it's, it's clearly still got a little bit of game improvement to it. Mm -hmm. I was holding the T100 before, and that definitely looks a little bit sure. sleeker. But compared to the T300, looking at that, it's definitely smaller. Mm -hmm. So it almost kind of looks like the, the T100 with just a little bit extra juice behind it. Okay. And then loft, I can notice the loft, as I mentioned, it's uh, 31 degrees yeah. versus 34 and 29 with the others. So it's okay. kind of right in the, in the middle, essentially there. So I would expect it to probably go in the middle for guys of distance. Yeah, right. It should be, you know, in terms of distance, T300, T200, T100 here. Yeah. Well, this is some shots. Definitely sounded really, like, solid. Mm -hmm. uh, Compared to say like the, the T100, that feels a little softer and this one just feels like it's got, like I said, just yeah. a little bit of juice behind it. Yeah, yep. definitely. Nice little beautiful draw there though. That was a good swing. Maybe a groove low, but that was a good swing. Got some forgiveness to it. Tiny little draw there again. So how's that feel after a couple shots? I mean, you've kind of mentioned it's like a, it's solid, but it's, yeah. I mean, because the sound, it's not like too clicky or anything like you hear with, it's not, it doesn't sound super abrasive like a lot of players' distance irons do. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not clicky, but it's also, I could also know it's not like the pure forged feel that you get right. out of more of a blade iron yeah. at the same time either. So it's, it's, it's smack kind of right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, I mean, I, you're still able to work the ball, you know? Yeah, I still got my little draw today, which the, is always exciting. The draw is still there, and I will say your distance consistency so far on those three is pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good yeah. there. What, what am I hitting though so far? You've got, let me bring up your table here quick, but you've got um, an average of 186.1 carry. All three of them have been 186-ish, like in that yardage. 186.3, 186.1, 186.0 for carry distance, so not bad. That's good because I mean definitely the concern when you go into those hollow body golf clubs is the the chances of getting that flyer yeah. or having inconsistency on that carry distance. Right, exactly. No. Now I'm a good bull striker, so there's a good chance that I have more of an opportunity to hit it more consistent right. every single time. But the fact that it's that close, three shots in, I mean it's impressed within me. six tenths of a yeah. yard on I, three shots so far. I am no robot either, so I I might beg to differ after those three <laughs> shots. That one didn't want to draw on me. It's dead straight. That was just a little bit heavier than the last one. Okay. You still carried that. You carried a 188. 188. Um, so. Spin was just, I mean, sprint, even, the, even still, spin was consistent. So I'm going to kind of try to bring the table up there and kind of expand this to where we're what five shots in here spin on every shot was between 6300 and 6900 um your again your first three carry distance were 186.3 186.1 186.0 then you went 191 and then went 188 so even if you say you didn't catch that last one quite perfect you know we talked about some of the the, the added tungsten weighting in there in the heel yep. and toe um and then that might not have been the perfect miss hit to kind of explain that but um, they're forgiving golf clubs, uh, but they pack a punch. Yeah, no, absolutely pack a punch. Uh, forgiving, look good. Uh, now, definitely looking down, it's got the more chrome look. I know the T200 and T300 looks a little more chrome look, yeah. where the T100 looks a little more satin look to it. Um, so it looks very similar to the, the, the previous model, but just, it's interesting. The, the backing and knowing the hollow body and just knowing the forgiveness behind it, it's, it's a good looking club. And, mm -hmm. Tyler's just keeps spinning better and better with this oh, yeah. hollow body category. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, they always crush those out of the park. But um, okay, next iron you want to hit. You want to go smaller in size, or you want to go larger in size? Let's go smaller. Okay, T100. Yep. Let's go smaller. No. 
that felt good. That was flushed. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Probably a tad more spin on that one. We'll see. I would expect that with a little more loft. A little pull. Just a little bit. It might go a little further. So now three shots in T100, do you notice that difference in feel quite a bit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Feel and forgiveness. Uh, T100, uh, it feels way better. Yeah. I just, it's the, the forged feel as a better player. I, I just so used to playing a, a forged yeah. feel. Now, mm -hmm. T200, it's just, a, it's just a different feel. It's a solid feel versus this just being a very soft, buttery feel. On yeah, the face. sure. And then uh, I mentioned forgiveness as well. I probably didn't make my best three swings there with the T100. I feel like the ball went just a little bit left on me and maybe yeah. not quite as far as I you know, may have for the, one of the swings like a little heavy and like the last one went a little further so it's uh, maybe not quite as forgiving. Yeah, yeah. which is to be expected. Right? Yep. Uh, and then is it, is it looking that much different than T200 or is it kind of similar? I mean obviously the top line and yeah. everything's going to be yeah. a little bit I mean smaller. it's it's different. I, I'm trying to think of what the, uh, the T100 from last year's model looks like and I feel like the top line is once again just a, a little, little bit thinner. Looking down at a little more offset on the T200. Looking down at it, okay. um, T100 really looks. It's they, they every year they creep that that line that AP2 the T100 to a little bit more blade like every yeah, single time. They have. Yep. I mean, especially at a dress. They. That's what I mean. That's it's the it's the the premium tour iron they say, and they they get all of the feedback on the looks from players that are using it on tour, and yep. they. Well, that's it that too. Way. Like there are guys using this on tour. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Jordan Spieth, for example, I think he just put it put it in the bag recently, yeah. and he almost won the the, the Open Championship yeah, I mean, with it. So I mean, he's had a resurgence. You know, he's come quite back. the resurgence this year. So. Yep. So it's definitely a player's iron. But when you hit it good, wow, it feels good. <laughs> he says after flushing one perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean that that's a perfect little draw there too. Yeah, that felt like one of the better swings. Yep. It was just a little thin. Didn't quite get that draw on it then because yeah. of that, I suppose. Yeah, and then just I noticed that one looked like it flew just a little bit shorter out there. And that will happen, right? Spin, yep, spin went up over 7,000 for the first time I've seen today. Yep. Um, but you still low. carried it, 178, over 180, 80, well, 183 total for yardage. So not losing a ton there. Um, wasn't punished too bad for that shot, but... Um, so we know T200's got 31 degrees aloft, T100's got 34 degrees aloft on it. What is the difference in carry distance between mm -hmm. those two? Should be around about 10 to 12. Right, right. What you would, so, you would think with aloft. On average there, the, the T200 here was 187.7 on carry average. Uh, T100 was 181.9. Okay. So, yep. um, there is that difference there. Maybe not as stark as you would have expected, but certainly yep. it's certainly there. You got to keep in mind. I didn't hit this one as well. Well, uh, the other one's just a little bit more forgiving overall. So mm -hmm. clearly it's going to go further with the, the T200. Clearly, because it's got less loft on it and it's more hollow body, it's going to spin less right. than the uh, the T100. Yeah. Well, yeah. speaking of spinning less, the T300, this last one here, a uh, little bit larger. Let's see how that compares. All right. Let's let's see how it compares overall. I definitely noticed looking at it initially. It definitely looks yeah a little more game improvement. For those players that you know really are wanting help to hit the middle of the club face and get the ball to go nice and straight, mm -hmm. feels lighter. That's for sure. That's going to be a little bit of a different club there. Yeah, I mean <laughs> that's just coming going from uh, what we did the AMT black first. Yeah. Then the white and then the red. Yeah. Now this, so you're going, you're kind of, you're going through different zones of sh shaft weights, and then of yeah. course the club head's very different too. The club so. head weight, yeah. So it's it's definitely it feels lighter. That was a little heavy. It definitely had the loudest sound, I thought, so yeah. far. That was a bit of a miss it. Was it really? That was, yeah. Because you hit it 205 yards. Oh, boy. So. 205 total? Yes. Okay. You carried it 198.6. Yeah. So. <laughs> it didn't, didn't feel like it, that's <laughs> for sure. It definitely didn't feel like it. Hey, forgiveness. Forgiveness right there. It's definitely a lot louder yeah oh yeah and that was a lot higher bull flight there so too. did you feel like i mean i i just have seen two so far but the draw is not there right and 
again, to be expected, no, you know, way less curvature with a game improvement iron. Yeah, and that probably wasn't my best swing, but it definitely was the one that was the furthest to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've had, you know, I mean, two of your three, well, probably your two furthest to the right are T300 so far. Okay. Which is interesting to talk about because we know the T300 is going to have more offset on it. Yeah. Offset is supposed to help close that club face for, for, for yeah. some golfers, but keep in mind that it's not going to maybe curve yeah. as curve Because as you curve like to kind of start your draw out to the right and bring it back. Right. So. Maybe not as workable, the desired workability right. that players are looking for, for those better players. Mm -hmm. That felt like a rocket. Just so you flush that one. Dead huh? straight. All right, that was a miss hit. That was not good at all. <laughs> well, but that was low off the club face. So keep in mind, this is initial testing. We've we've got these golf clubs here. We yeah. haven't. We don't have the fitting components yet, so we haven't been able to test with the exact same golf shaft before, right. before three. Clearly, we know I don't fit into a game improvement iron, so we're yeah. going to have some or the future, shaft, yeah, either. or the shaft. So we're going to have some future testing. Yeah. So we'll keep that in mind there too. We'll get some other contributors to game improvement contributors for these clubs. But right off the bat, I definitely noticed forgiveness. Yeah. Way more forgiving. Way much more distance. Yeah. Uh, less. I haven't seen the numbers, but I'm going to guess less less spin. You might be onto something with that. Higher one. ball flight. Let's get one yeah. more here, and then we'll have five with each club here and we'll okay. kind of do a quick breakdown. See if I get one more solid one. I feel like I only hit it solid once so far. It just doesn't want to turn over for it's me. It's just not going to turn, which for a golfer that struggles with too much curve or doesn't want to curve their irons, which yep. is a, a large, you know, everybody that plays those irons is probably that type of golfer. That's good for them. You know, they this is your straight curve. golf club. Yes. You want to hit the ball straight, T300 is your winner. Yes, yes, for sure. So I'm going to kind of bring up, you know, the table on one side, the dispersion on the other side, so we can see here on the, the, the track man here. Um, we've got kind of a, it's also, it, I mean, it's clear the clubs are different just based on both map and the numbers because you have kind of farthest left on the map is T100, kind of in the middle then T200 and then T300, which didn't quite have the draw, right? So you can kind of see how the workability kind of gradually increases as you go right. sort of to a smaller club head. Um, and then distance-wise, you gained another seven yards there with the T300 um, in carry, 194.6. So it's almost, there's pretty clear differences there. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of have, if you're looking at the map, you got T100, T200, T300 yep. up that way. So. Um, and yeah, T200 is two degrees weaker than T300 yeah. and it went seven yards shorter yeah it's i mean the loft it's, it's kind of exactly still exactly yeah. so yep. um yeah i mean you got the spin also lowest on the t300 which we would expect but not i mean it wasn't a drastic difference about two and a half well 250 rpm ish yeah. and i've um, been I'll, I'll tell you this now in the last few months i've been working on trying to spin the ball a little bit more mm -hmm. working on my attack hang a little bit so when we've done initial testing on a lot of clubs my spin rate, a lot of people notice my spin rate has been a little bit lower. Yeah. So I think you mentioned, I had a few there, even with T100, they were over 7,000, I think, yep. too. Yep. So, and that's kind of, you know, you, you want spin so the ball can stop on the green. So I'm not going to hit the ball maybe as far as I used to because I'm yeah. spinning the ball a little bit more. Right, yep. right, exactly. Yep. Um, interesting that, you know, T100 and the T200, so on, for those on, you know, the, the seven iron is, is the T, as listed as the T200, um, but the spin is pretty similar between T100 and T200 here. So interesting on that note there. But um, yeah, I mean, these are these irons that they look great, they perform well. You, you noted the forgiveness really in all three of the club heads. Yep. Um, but in particular, I think the T300 you had, you maybe didn't hit really any quite square, and that's just because you weren't fit for the club or the shaft, but still the farthest iron very clearly. So um, there's pretty clear differences between each of them, I think. All right, well, Thomas, you've now tested all three, um, and in your opinion, let's go through kind of each iron and a little bit of what your feedback was, kind of look and feel, and also maybe dive into which players will fit each of these three irons. Okay, so this first start off, the club I just hit, the T300, little more chrome look to it, larger sole, a little bit, little bit thicker top line, a yeah. little bit more offset. It's gonna fit into your golfer that's needing a little bit more game improvement. Mm -hmm. So generally speaking, Slower swing speed golfers, yeah. 
you know, higher handicap golfers, mm -hmm. essentially, that want to get the ball up in the air to fly it nice and straight. Yep. Yeah, so this is going to be a distance club. Yeah, and a ton of tungsten and weight in there too to add that kind of stability at impact as well for the yep. miss hits. But then the T two hundred was kind of that player's distance club. Uh, so a little bit, little bit of tungsten weighting, not as much as the T three hundred. Um, but then with the hollow shape in there too, right? Yeah, I feel like I hit the T two hundred pretty solid. It was, uh, it was probably the straightest one that I hit today. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't as workable as say the T one hundred is. Right. So it's you know hollow body. So it's. A distance player iron category, yeah. essentially, what, what it is, and it fits kind of your, your golfers that still look in a little bit more distance, a little bit more workability than the, than the T300 would, would give you. Um, and it's still very forgiving, though, and it's yes, still got that sure. chrome look to it, so we got a little bit of offset, but not as much as T300. Yep, and then lastly, T100 and T100S. So T100S, um, just a little bit kind of stronger in terms of distance and loft. Um, but the T100, they both are kind of that slim player shape. And I know you really like the feel too. Yeah, and we don't have the T100S yet. We will do some future testing on that, but the difference is going to be the loft. Yeah. 32 degrees of loft on the 7-iron with the T100S, 34 degrees of loft with the T100. What's that gonna do? It's gonna cause the ball to spin less, and it's gonna cause the ball to go a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So if you have a player that needs less spin, yeah. T100 is a great option for those golfers that still like the look and wanna play for a, sure. A player's iron, essentially. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, and T100 is a player's iron. It's a player's iron that has got more of a satin finish look to it. And as I mentioned, getting a little bit more blade-like every year. Every year, yep. every year. Uh, well, golfers, uh, first of all, thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Swing Report. Um, if you're interested in any of these three Titleist irons from the T-Series of 2021, you know where to go, secondswing.com or one of our Second Swing stores. Schedule a fitting with one of our experts like Thomas here and we'll get you set up. Uh, Thomas, thanks for joining, giving your insight and testing out the clubs today. Uh, again, these are gonna be a home run. Yeah, Titleist has knocked out of the park and golfers, if you love this content, make sure you subscribe for more content coming your way in the future.